Yeah. Uh, you know, they're responsible for their confidence, but there's there's plenty of ways I can help them. You know, what we do in practice, conversations I have with them, and that's what we're doing. You know, um, it's not a magic pill that's going to fix that. You know, I think they, you know, they, um, they work on their confidence with, you know, what they do on the ice, how serious they take their reps. Um, you know, you want to score in games, score in practice. You know, and I think, you know, there's there's plenty of drills that we do that uh, uh, um, enhance that, like uh, um, helps that, and uh, that's what we're doing. Just uh, from your own experience as a player, whether you've gone through something similar to what Josh has this season or not, like. How can you describe the psychology of this game? What it can do to you on a day-to-day -day basis if, if things aren't going the way you want them to, even though your effort is well. The best way I can describe that is when you're fighting it offensively, when your confidence is low. Sometimes it's like you're playing the game, like, and you're looking through like a toilet paper roll, pretty much. You know, it's like that. You know. And when you have a lot of confidence, it's like you have eyes behind your head, you know. So it's, it's, it's working to go from here to here to here to here to here. It doesn't happen like that, you know. But, uh, uh, you know, and, and, that, and that going from here to, to here, it's, it doesn't just happen in games. You know, you got to work on that in the reps you take in practice. Um, but when you're playing the game, looking through here, as an offensive player, as a guy that, that, that knows can score goals, um, could be suffocating a little bit, you know? And it becomes heavy sometimes. So I think it's important to, <clears throat> as teammates, to have empathy and help those guys out, as coaches, to, to help those guys out. And, uh, you know, uh, it's not like when you're going through that 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 sort of time, you know. Um, it can be difficult, but it's it's not like uh, Josh and some of the players that haven't scored that that they're not contributing. You know, there's a lot more to the game. So if you're not really scoring, you got to contribute in other ways, and you know, defensively and. Uh, you know, right for a guy like Josh, bringing his physical presence, and uh, I, I really like where our team's at right now. Uh, you know, and I think we're just going to keep pushing. I think those guys are going to. The team's in a good place. I think the individually, the players are in a better place to come out of it because the team is in a better place, so to speak. I think our, our collective game is is very good. You know, and I was very, I was disappointing with the result yesterday, obviously. Uh, but looking back at the game, there's a lot of good. Salut Martin, je sais que ça fait juste deux matchs que Savard est, est revenu, mais tu peux me parler un peu de l'importance de sa présence, de son effet peut-être stabilisateur un peu sur, sur ton groupe de défenseurs. Il calme, il calme les choses, tu sais, sa vie, il est toujours en contrôle, tu sais, puis très intelligent. T'sais, fait que la POC, elle va toujours comme on sait que c'est supposé d'aller avec lui, à, à, au moment qu'elle est supposé d'y aller, à la vitesse qu'elle est supposé d'y aller. Euh, Puis je pense que ça l'aide beaucoup, notre groupe, euh, euh, de voir son calme, euh, son poise. Je ne sais pas comment tu dis ça, poise. Oui, ouais, il est toujours en contrôle, tu sais. Je pense que ça, ça, ça l'aide l'équipe beaucoup. On est content de le revoir. Tu sais, tu as déjà fait la, la comparaison avec euh, des gars qui veulent arroser l'arbre et pas s'asseoir mmh. à l'ombre éventuellement. Mmh. Euh, J'imagine qu'ils rentrent un peu dans, dans cette catégorie-là. Tu sais, ah, ben oui. ben oui, ça c'est sûr. Oui, puis tu n'en as jamais assez de gars de même. Surtout euh, que des vétérans comme ça qui, qui savent que peut-être qu'ils ne seront pas là, mais qui vont avoir un, un gros effet. Pourquoi qu'on va être rendu là? Euh, puis euh, c'est <coughs> important. Euh, Martin, si tu me permets de revenir sur Josh Anderson, 
euh, il y a le soutien du public. Hier, c'était toute une démonstration. Mm -hmm. Je ne sais pas qu ce que tu en penses. Là. Mm -hmm. Il y a le soutien de ses coéquipiers. Mm -hmm. Puis tu le soutiens aussi. Mm -hmm. À quel moment il arrive pour toi, l'entraîneur, de dire c'est préférable que lui, il ait un pas de recul puis qu'il sorte un peu de la cuisine parce que c'est trop chaud? Y a-t-il un moment pour toi, dans le cas de Josh Anderson? Mais je pense qu'on est. Euh, mais c'est quoi? Explique-moi un peu plus ta question de qui sort de la cuisine. Un moment. Ou pour lui, c'est... C'est quoi de le dire sortir de la cuisine? Mais, mais c'est quoi, quoi tu veux dire par ça? C'est-tu le moment de le laisser de côté pour toi, pour qu'il prenne un pas de recul? Non. 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 Euh, de la minute... Je te le dirais, ce serait quand le moment? Je te dirais le moment que ça l'arriverait, c'est si le joueur abandonne sur lui-même. En anglais, je dis, « If you give up on yourself, Then I'll give up on you. C'est quoi les signes d'un gars qui abandonne pas sur lui-même? Ben, c'est l'attitude, c'est l'éthique, le travail, son engagement. Tu sais, il est, en, il, il est là, Josh. Tu sais, mais la, la minute que tu vois ce, ce comportement-là, c'est parce que là, il abandonne. Fait quand tu abandonnes sur toi-même, c'est peut-être la première journée que je vais peut-être te laisser de côté puis abandonner sur toi un petit peu. Pour... Tu comprends ce que je veux dire? As-tu euh... As déjà vu ça, toi, une... des gens qui font l'innovation pour un gars qui... qui a besoin de soutien dans la Ligue nationale? As-tu déjà vu ça à un moment donné? Puis qu'est-ce que tu as pensé de ça? Non, je pense pas que j'ai vu ça. T'sais. Puis écoute, euh, Montréal, c'est un... une place extraordinaire à jouer. Euh, puis je sais, c'est encore plus extraordinaire quand toutes les choses vont bien. Euh, puis euh, pour voir le support qu'on a euh, comme fan, euh, pour l'équipe, mais aussi pour les individus, euh, ça me fait chaud au cœur. Euh, en fait, au sujet de ce que tu expliquais à Martin, pour ce qui est de, de la décision de le laisser de côté ou pas, est-ce que c'est le même raisonnement pour le temps en avantage numérique aussi? Est-ce qu'il est qu y a un point où tu veux, justement, tu... Tu le laisses là pour l'aider à s'en sortir, mais tu, tu places où la limite en lui donner ces outils-là? Euh, bon, il, 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 il était sur le premier avantage, il joue sur le deuxième, beaucoup moins de minutes, on a beaucoup de blessés. Euh, je sais, il y a des gars qui jouent plus de punition, des gars qui jouent sur le power play. J'achète de séparer le temps de glace un petit peu, le rôle à jouer. C'est là qu'il est présentement, mais il y, a, il y a eu une démotion. Démotion? Oui. Il y a eu une démotion là-dessus. Là. Tu parlais de savoir tantôt. Euh, Est-ce est que tu le vois, tu as eu beaucoup de défenseurs qui ont joué avec, tu sais, tout le monde a joué avec tout le monde, là, pas mal. Euh, Est-ce que tu le vois comme le meilleur fit pour Matheson, euh, maintenant que tu es de retour et que tu es ensemble? Je pense qu'on a... <coughs> euh, a différentes euh, euh, options. Euh, C'est-tu le meilleur fit? Je ne sais pas, mais c'est un bon fit présentement. Puis on va continuer à, à évaluer ça. Salut Martin, vous avez rappelé Emile Heidemann hier, euh, il est revenu il y a une couple de semaines après six semaines d'absence pour une blessure. Je voulais savoir c'est quoi le, le rapport que tu avais eu sur, euh, sur comment il va dernièrement. Ben c'est qu'il se mettait dans le beat, là, tu sais. Il avait manqué beaucoup de temps, c'était plus de ça. Euh, c'est pas mal tout. Sa façon de jouer, euh, plus d'indices que, que ça. Okay. C'est des chances qu'ils jouent euh, samedi. Je ne sais pas encore. C'est arrivé à plusieurs reprises que tu me dises ah, ben, on corrige quelque chose, puis il y a quelque chose d'autre qui se déclare. Tu sais. Est-ce que. Y a-tu des choses que tu pensais. Pourrais-tu me donner un exemple d'un truc que tu pensais avoir réglé, puis que finalement, ça ne l'était pas parce que ça s'est. La brèche s'est réouverte, puis quelque chose que vous avez réglé, puis là, vous continuez avec ça, puis ça, tu, tu sais que tu l'as au centre de Mais Je te dirais que... Je te dirais le, euh, la contre-attaque. Oui. Le rush coverage. C'est ça? Je sais pas. Rush coverage, c'est dans les autres équipes OK. C'est rush coverage. Je ne sais pas ça en français. La couverture dans la contre-attaque. Euh, je te dirais que euh, 
on était une séquence où que on allait super bien. Puis des fois, c'est peut-être euh, euh, embrouillé un petit peu parce que il y a des équipes que tu n'as pas à gérer ça autant. OK? Fait que là, tu penses que tout est beau. Puis là, tu prends une coupe d'équipe qui sont très, très, très dangereux là-dessus. Puis là, ben, oh, non, ben, il faut revenir là-dessus. Tu sais? Puis des fois, c'est les équipes contre qui tu joues. Puis... Mais tu sais, c'est du... ça, c'est toute l'année, c'est comme ça. Toutes les équipes, euh, tu travailles sur des petites affaires ici et là. Puis tu essaies tout le temps de, de rappeler aux gars euh, les autres affaires aussi. Euh, mais depuis mon, mon, mon expérience, mon arrivée comme entraîneur, je te dirais, c'est fascinant quand tu, vraiment, tu travailles sur une chose, que les, les, euh, ça, 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 ça s'exécute quand même très assez vite à ce niveau-là. Mais c'est continuer à, 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 à rester constant dans, dans ces affaires-là, tout en pas oublier les autres affaires que tu amènes. Ou, fait que c'est du jonglage un petit peu, mais, mais plus, euh, plus tu matures comme équipe, tu as beaucoup moins de jonglage. Tu as plus de constance dans tout. Est-ce que c'est -ce est difficile de, de rester patient pour toi? T'sais, les gars veulent avoir des résultats. Toi, j'imagine tu vas avoir des résultats, mais dis, OK, ça va prendre le temps que ça prend. Ouais. Mais est-ce que garder cette patience-là, c'est difficile pour le coach? Non, je ne dirais pas que c'est difficile. T'sais, moi, je dis toujours, c'est de la patience agressive. Euh... <coughs> tu sais, puis... C'est facile d'être plus patient quand tu vois l'engagement et les bonnes intentions. Tu sais, puis on a ça. Tu sais, mais c'est de, euh, euh, de voir de la progression. Tu sais, puis je pense qu'on a ça. On a une belle progression. Mais c'est... Euh, tu as des différentes choses que tu vas être peut-être un petit peu plus patient avec, mais tu as d'autres choses pour moi que je suis moins patient. Tu sais, parce que ça fait longtemps qu'on en parle parce qu'on essaie tout le temps de rajouter des affaires. Fait que les affaires que tu rajoutes, il faut être un petit peu plus patient avec ça. Les affaires que ça fait longtemps qu'on en parle, mais la patience ça, est, est, est moins grosse. Anthony, et pour terminer. Euh, Nick Suzuki, <coughs> à 24 ans, des grosses responsabilités déjà, capitaine, premier centre. On parle de progression. Comment tu évalues la sienne? Qu'est-ce qui te rend le plus fier de son jeu? Qu'est-ce que tu aimerais le voir travailler? Combien de questions? <rire> oui, mais pour, commence par une. Là. OK. Le positif versus ce que tu aimerais le voir travailler. Ben, le positif, je trouve que Nick, il, euh, il nous donne une bonne game de 200 pieds. Euh, il y a beaucoup moins de revirements. Euh, euh, puis, fait que je trouve Nick, c'est une belle progression. Euh, il y a beaucoup de, 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 de tâches. Euh, euh, puis je te dirais, comme le reste de l'équipe, c'est continuer à travailler, aller en dedans, avec et sans la rondelle. 5, euh, en 30 <rire> secondes, c'est très bon. Ah. <rire> Marty, uh, some players like Cole are just natural born goal scorers, right? They just know how to score. When you were a kid, when you were playing, were, did scoring for you come naturally, or is it something you had no. to teach or work on? I don't think you're. I don't think you're naturally born a goal scorer. I think you're born with the ability to become a goal scorer, and it's how you work on that. Uh, for me, I, I had abilities to, to, to score goals, but when I was young, I, I didn't have a shot. I was a pass-first guy. And um, so because I couldn't really shoot it, I developed a lot of my playmaking abilities. But as I got older, stronger, I worked on my shot. I became a better goal scorer in the NHL than when I was in college, you know, and that's something I worked on. Um, and it came with, uh, you know, maturation with, uh, you know, getting stronger, bigger, not taller, but uh, so for me, it's, uh, <clears throat> you always have to evolve, you know, you can't just, score goals one way, you know, you got to have more tools, more uh, ways to score goals. And I think that's what we're, uh, I think that's what Cole is finding out that, you know, yeah, he has a great shot 
and uh, you know, but there's other parts of the ice that you can shoot from. Why you go there? When you go there? Uh, you know, there's 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 tips, there's rebounds, there's there's so many things, and and you know, to me, you got to get on the inside if you want to score. It doesn't mean you're going to score from the inside, but you might start there and pop out at the right time. Uh, but if you're always staying there, everybody knows you're there. And it's hard. You're gonna have stick shin pads all the time. It's easier on the power play to be there because they have one less guy. So I think you you seen Cole move around a little more, especially last night. I thought he was he was on the inside way more. And you know, it's 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 a work in progress, and it's a, it's a, it's a young player who's got unbelievable abilities, and he's just learning how to to be successful in the NHL. You like something up there. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's genetics. <laughs> I mean, Cole's not the only one. You have a lot of forwards right now who are struggling to score. What's the best, I guess, general piece of advice for the rest of the guys? Like Just what we've been talking about, skinning on the inside. And last night, it was big difference. OK, merci. Uh, what's the biggest difference in your offensive game? 
Uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's just, I mean, it starts with just kind of how I'm preparing and, you know, everything. I think I, my mindset was good this summer and uh, just kind of just doing the little things. I think it is, uh, you know, when I'm moving my feet and getting up in the play, I mean, obviously you have a better chance of scoring. So that's, I think that's mostly what it is. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how it's estimated. So like, I don't know, but uh, yeah, I don't. I don't think it's like my my biggest strong suit. Um, I think I'm you know most known for just you know being hard to play against and you know good defensively. But um, yeah, I think I mean especially now that you know my legs are feeling good and you know I'm getting a little bit more comfortable. I think uh, you know it's just kind of bound to happen. You get some good bounces here and there. Yeah. What about the fact that playing with Kolasinac probably he, he helps you with his defensive game and he permits you to to go offensively a little bit more. Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, no matter who you play with, I mean, everyone's a good player. Um, but uh, yeah, I think Kobe for sure. He's, uh, you know, he's been solid back there. Um, you know, we have good communication when we're out together. So uh, yeah, it makes it pretty easy just kind of knowing what he's doing. He knows what I'm doing. So yeah, it's been smooth. Thank you. Yeah, it was uh, good to play against against players like that. Like that, and yeah, too bad we didn't win. It's a good game, good start, but yeah, it's like that. As a, as a young player, um, what did you keep from a guy like Crosby? The way that he cared uh, for his team and the way that he played with his teammates to you know to win a game. Yeah, I mean it's you can try to take away pretty much everything from him because yeah he's doing every every single detail right and yeah just watch watch him what he does on on the ice and even like stuff stuff he does off the ice and there is there is a reason why they were so good for many years so yeah he's a great player. Thank you. <laughs> What was it when you see the, the crowd is still behind you? Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty cool thing. Um, you know, how they still show their support. Um, you know, obviously means a lot. Um, obviously, I wish uh, things ended a little bit differently. But, um, you know, like you said, uh, you know, hearing, hearing the crowd, um, you know, roar like that, uh, you know, it was pretty cool. Josh, I know this is exhausting subject matter at this point, but how can you speak to just the psychology of the situation? It, it, I, I can't imagine it's easy on a daily basis. Yeah, it's it's been very tough. Um, I'm not gonna lie. Um, you know, I, I mean, usually every day you, you think about you know when when you're gonna break out of that slump and um, you know start putting him in the back of the net. But um, you know, for me personally, I just gotta keep coming to work each and every day and um, keep grinding. Um, keep shooting pucks. Um, you know, um, I keep telling myself eventually they're going, they're going to go in, and uh, still waiting for that day. But uh, you know, I got to keep coming to work and uh, you know push myself each and every day. I guess Marty, you your, Marty I guess just said. I guess you tried to contribute in uh, other ways. Yeah, I'm trying to. Uh, I'm trying to stick to my game. Um, you know, the way I, I know I can play. Um, you know, can contribute any any time, anything I can get uh, right now. So, um, just keep pushing myself uh, each and every day, and um, you know, trying to continue to do that. Marty just said that uh, he wants to keep you in the lineup because you don't give up. What's your reaction? The kind of support that 
your head coach on the situation? I mean, um, you know, I got a lot of respect for Marty as, as a coach. Um, you know, obviously, he's played a lot of games in the NHL, and um, for him to you know, still continue to play me the way he's, he's done, um, you know, obviously, he's, he's got a lot of faith and, and trust um, in what I'm trying to do out there. And, um, you know, for, for me, I, I try to put uh, the team you know, before myself, and I'm trying to do everything I can to, to, help, to help the team at the end, at the end of the day. And, um, I'm going to continue to do that, uh, you know, even if I struggle and um, I'm going to try to give 100% effort and, um, you know, obviously I'm, I'm, you know, trying. Uh, there's no question about that. Um, you know, it's, it's how dig you can deep or how dig you can deep and, um, you know, I'm trying to do that uh, each and every day and um, go into each game and, and try to give a full effort and do as much as I can. On, on Eric, uh, just ask you. Um, is it difficult when you when you're back home after practice or a game to not think about that and just clear your mind? And... Yeah, it's you know what it's it's been really tough uh, going home. Um, I remember you know watching every clip, watching every hockey game. Um, you know, right now I'm trying to kind of st staying away from um, you know staying away from the game a little bit, and then. You know, when you come to the rink, you know, you just have a new energy. Um, focus on that, focus what you need to do. And um, like I said, try to try to give it your all each and every day. Um, I think that's the mindset I have right now. And um, yeah, tomorrow's, tomorrow's a new day. Um, we had a good practice today and get back at it. Josh, you say that in tough times, you learn the most about yourself. Yeah. Are you able to zoom out right now to be able to take those lessons and you think they're coming down the line? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you definitely learn a little bit about yourself. Absolutely. Um, you know, you sit yourself down and uh, you think about everything. Um, you know, right now I'm, I'm trying just uh, to worry about other things until I get to the rink, and then it's and then it's straight hockey, straight focus, and um, yeah. Going back to yesterday when. on the ice a while before I got back so uh, I got used to things and I got a good start getting back with the team and uh, feel good out there yeah were you kind of surprised by this call up or uh, I was happy obviously it's always fun to to get a call like that um, but I don't know I was kind of focused on on the games that we had and just uh, and it got quite quickly from there so and you had a good camp, so I guess it's it was in, in their in their mind when they come here, probably. Uh, I don't know what what that what they think, but uh, I, f I felt like I left it all out there, and uh, uh, I think unfortunate injury, but I feel that I'm still on a good pace. How disappointing was that, uh, was that injury? I mean, you had a great a great training camp here, and then got injured. No matter what, actually, uh, when you get an injury, it's always disappointing. Uh, I felt like I was just getting started. Uh, it was two games into the season, too, so uh, it was kind of a bummer, obviously. So. Thank you. What's this, this trend? Uh, you want to bring the NHL, Marty, call your name to play. What was that? What the, what's this trend you want to, to bring to the NHL if Marty call your name to play a game? I uh, just want to try to bring my game uh, with a lot of speed, uh, engagement out there and uh, trying to shoot as much as possible, uh, we'll see. And uh, just trying to do my best out there, uh, that's the thing, uh, trying to help the team. Thank you. All right, we'll get back to my group. Thank you.